Okay there, 470 boat motor enthusiast. This is the heat exchanger. I'm uh, replacing my starter. It was shot, you know, smoke coming out of it. So I decided to take my heat exchanger out um, because it was a lot easier to take the starter out when I had the heat exchanger out. And I cleaned it, and there's a bunch of crud that was on the engine side, which of course are these main ports. And the uh, I cleaned out all the stuff that was inside the rust debris from the block. You know, even though the block's aluminum, you still have other components that are steel. And your fresh water comes in here and goes out there, or comes in here and goes out there. I can't remember which way it goes. Um, but what I want to do is hook up some instrumentation. This is on the raw water side, which is directly connected in this chamber here. This is where your tube sheet is um, for the heat exchanger. Um, and there and there. So your wall water comes in here. It's a single pass um, heat exchanger from what I can tell. Even though when I opened this up, I could not see a port that I go from there, you know, had, had different heights um, or elevation because the gasket's solid. So I don't know how the water gets from the three separate chambers. It makes sense to come here, go there, and go out. That would be the best to have a three pass shell, but it, I don't think it was designed that way. But regardless, um, this uh, temperature is too long, so I need to get a little stub nose. Uh, one and even though it won't be all the way in the stream, it'll give you an approximate temperature of the raw water versus what's inside, which would be pretty cool. So this is for the engine side, and this is for your raw water side. If you wanted two more um, gauges on your uh, dash, etc., etc. So good times. Uh, hopefully this helps. And uh, once again, this is a 470 heat exchanger. Uh, so your engine coolant uh, goes in there and your wall water goes in there. It's a uh, copper, brass, nickel composite, um, from what I can tell, to uh, be able to stay in the salt water. Um, and so, see if Napa has a uh, smaller one that will go in there, which would be perfect to get it instrumented. Um, all right, that's what I've got. And to instrument this, um, since this is electrical current, you are gonna have to have a grounding strap attached to this um, so when you clamp this on if you wrap this around the ground wire then that way you know this is going to be the same ground as um, your electrical system um, because this is it reads a uh, signal so alrighty talk to you later bye